dizzy. Let's just play more dizzy. Let's launch immediately into the next dizzy game. Waste no time, only dizzy, 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 dizzy. Let's jump ahead to Wonderland Dizzy. Look at that. Oh, look at this. Let's go to the modern era of gaming and play Wonderland Dizzy. Look at this. This is a Dizzy game released for the Nintendo Entertainment System in the year 2015. We're going to play Wonderland Dizzy. Wonderland Dizzy. The art on the box here. I'm happy that they've finally drawn Dizzy and Daisy, and it's not the exact same picture. I also don't really think it looks that good. <laughs> but it was the style, I suppose. I suppose. I want to play Dizzy. We got to play more Dizzy. Um, Dizzy, Dizzy. We got to play more Dizzy. So this is... The story to this, yeah, Bag of Magic Food, I was looking for that as well. I couldn't find it either. There is a manual for the game. In fact, I saw this picture here on the internet of somebody who got a copy, a box copy with a booklet and a, like a fold-out poster. As far as I know, that instruction booklet and poster are not on the internet. They have not been scanned. They are exclusive pristine rare dizzy artifacts this is the only proof of their existence right here this could be faked i don't know i'm looking at the pixels i've seen a couple shops in my day this could be faked it looks real to me but we're gonna play dizzy wonderland dizzy <laughs> was the poster just fantasy world dizzy um, I'm going to read verbatim from a website here, theoakfolk.com, your source, my source, for Dizzy gaming information. Wonderland Dizzy is an adventure game which originated from the previous title, Magicland Dizzy. Created by Philip and Andrew Oliver, the Oliver Twins, the game was originally planned to be released as part of the excellent Dizzy collection in 1993, but it was pulled due to budget reasons. Plans to port the game onto the 8-bit Sega systems were also scrapped. In 2011, a map of the game drawn by the Oliver Twins was made public online. And they can actually look at that. Spoilers! I'm not going to look at it. On the 24th of October, 2015, Wonderland Dizzy made a surprise release on the Nintendo Entertainment System after the game's source was discovered in Philip Oliver's loft. <laughs> the game's release was all thanks to expert programmer Lucas Kerr. I have apologies for butchering your name. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's Hungarian, I think. And also, or maybe Polish. Also to Andrew Joseph from the Dizzy fan site. Wonderland's website launched on the same day. Since the release of Wonderland, more unreleased Nest Dizzy games started seeing the light of day within the next few years. And then it goes on to explain the game, but it's wild. Like, they made this game in the 90s, the Olivers, or started programming it, and then just, it just tucked it away in a box in their loft for decades. And then they uncovered it. And with the help of fans, they finished it, which is awesome. So we get more Dizzy. We get more Dizzy. We get more Dizzy. And they made multiple games in this way. It's awesome. I'm so excited. Let's turn the box over. Wonderland Dizzy, The Queen's Chamber, Mad Hatter's Party, Sleepy Hollow, The Bushy Grove, Chatty Folk, Castle Moat. Make that a little bigger. Explore Wonderland with Dizzy and, for the first time ever, Daisy. Zax has once again cast an evil spell over the forest of Keldor, sending the Yoke Folk and their friends into Wonderland. Solve puzzles, help witches, and save the Yoke Folk as you travel down the rabbit hole. Rediscovered 22 years after being written. 
Play now at WonderlandDisney.com. That website's dead. I tried it. Maybe the Wayback Machine could pull something up, but... But thanks to Codemasters, Dizzy, created by the Oliver Twins, is a registered trademark of Codemasters. All rights reserved 2015. Made in Creative UK. We're going to play it. So this is, as mentioned on the website, a remake of Magic Land Dizzy. Magic Land Dizzy is the fourth Dizzy adventure game. I think this is the one where we stab Zax with the trident. I think this is the game where we meet the devil and get a spear and stab the wizard to death. Let's play it. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to go over because no scans of this manual could be found. We, we just we're just going in. Let's just go play it. Let's play some more Dizzy Wonderland Dizzy. Oh, Dizzy the Adventure, come away. Wonderland Dizzy, 2015 NES Gaming. 2015 NES Gaming. Dude, modern NES games are awesome. Speaking of modern NES games, Sakonikau in chat has made a NES game himself. I gotta play Lizard. Modern NES games. They're still making NES games to this day. I love it. Dizzy. All right, you boot the game up and you get this screen with no music, very somber. Options menu. Well, my rules. My arbitrary nonsense rules is I start the timer and I start pressing buttons. So let's start the timer. <laughs> start game, language select, play as Dizzy and Daisy mode classic. Or fun. You can go classic or fun. Dizzy alone. Daisy alone or both? We gotta go with both. We gotta play as Daisy. We could just go with, with Daisy. The website, Cadis, uh, the Yoke Folk website, does explain the fun is basically easy mode, baby mode, where you can you only die if you fall in the water or something like that. Nothing else can kill you. Now, we're gonna play with both of them. Just default settings. Oh, they got Polski, Francois, Deutsch, Portuguese, Castellano. English. Start the game. Dizzy and Daisy gazed down to the darkness below. They knew that it was down here that they would be able to find their friends. What should they do now? They looked at each other. Decided it was up to them to rescue the others. They tumbled down into the darkness below, but to their surprise, they fell slowly and all sorts of objects fell around. Oh my god. This rules. <laughs> what? So I have strong memories, no, not really strong memories. I recall Dizzy's 3 and 4 being my favorite on the spectrum. Uh, Fantasy World Dizzy and Magic Land Dizzy. This one's based on Magic Land Dizzy. I don't recall a lot of the details of the game, like the individual puzzles or anything like that. Because again, I played like a dozen of these by now and they're all just kind of blending together. But... This is a very strong game that they're remaking here, so I'm really excited for this. And this looks way different too, there's a lot of changes. Alright, let's play it. Here 
There's D Dizzy has his hat. Dizzy has nothing. I still can't hold the jump button down to automatically jump. He's got the momentum, so maybe this is based off the Dizzy the Adventurer engine. Because he still has the weird momentum or running speed. Daisy? Hi, Daisy! You stay here. I'm off to try and rescue the others. Oh, Dizzy, you're such a hero. Good luck and be careful out there. I thought I could play as both of them. I guess we're playing as Dizzy. I guess when they said play as both, it meant play as Dizzy. <laughs> Dizzy looks at the magical portal. I should rescue the others before returning home. Dizzy's holding cup of holy water. We're in Stonehenge. Look at this ghost. It's not a Pac-Man ghost anymore. He's coming for you. He's coming for you. <laughs> so, I played this on my own last night. For a little bit. Oh, what a nice frog. I think we just have to touch the ghost while holding the holy water. And the ghost disappears. Wow, powerful stuff. And I just owned him. And then I just died for no reason. Alright, game over. Yeah, after you die, it switches you to Daisy. I didn't get I didn't play much further than this. <laughs> I guess the little fish there that was invisible because of sprite limitations is what killed me. Interesting. So when you die, it seems like you jump to the other character in this two player mode. Interesting. I never played the Amiga version of Magic Land, no. I haven't played any of the Dizzy games on the Amiga. I'm sorely slacking in that regard. I've only played the Spectrum versions of Classic Dizzy, with the exception of Crystal Kingdom Dizzy. Dylan, is that you? Wow. Daisy. Help me, man. I was just sitting among the flowers when I started to sprout. Now I'm a bush. Don't worry, Dylan. I'll get some help. Smoker's pipe. Caterpillar trees. Oh, I bet this guy wants a pipe. Classic mode, there's some things that kill Dizzy, some things that stun him. Interesting. Oh my god. Yes! Oh, the key's back. Well, can I just jump over the well? No, no, I didn't jump! Fall damage? Fall damage? Uh, fall damage? Alright. We got fall damage. Let's 
So yeah, I'm... Okay. Weird. This is cool. This is like a twist on the classic Dizzy formula here. In this mode specifically. So we're allowed to switch between characters if I take damage. And yeah, my inventory items get like switched back and forth with us. This is cool. Hello, I'm Dizzy. Can you use some of your magic to help me and my friends? Magic? Witch? I'm a witch, not a wizard. I only make potions. Well, could you make a potion that would help free a friend? I'm a very busy witch. Go away, find someone else. Okay. See ya. Oh, took a hit. <laughs> And now we're back here? This is wild! Amiga droplets. Ooh, a Halloween hat. I thought that was a traffic cone. These Amiga droplets will certainly kill me. That mouse will certainly kill me. I go down deeper. Daisy's dead. <laughs> Excuse me. The base of the volcano. That bug will certainly stun me. Yeah, the Cheshire Cat steals your items. Or takes your items and gives them to the other person. This is so cool! Apple. Poisoned apple. Oh, where's the stupid shark? Hot wet trash. <laughs> I think so, Cadis, yeah. We go into the volcano, or over the caldera, and then into the depths of the volcano or something like that to meet the devil. Can I make this jump? Ooh. We have four ground elements now. I don't think there's ever been four ground in a Dizzy game. Bomb on, welcome, welcome. Oh, nice. I've never played this one before. I've played pretty much all of the previous Dizzy games, or at least up to this one. This is my first time playing this one. I uh, take a hat. I believe this is your hat. Oh, thank you, my dear. Now, one good turn deserves another. What's your problem? Oh, thanks. You can probably help my friend Dylan. He appears to have been turned into a bush. Now that's a nice easy task. I can make a potion to cure him. All I need is a leaf from your friend, a poisoned apple, and I'll need to light a fire into my cauldron to boil it all up. Excellent. Wait here, I'll be right back. Puppy power. Uh, here we go. She puts the apple into the cauldron. I don't know how many stars to collect. That's, dude, that's not fair! <laughs> this is the where we can fill the bucket. I remember that bit. Whew. I'm having flashbacks. Of jumping over like the rising bubbles from the volcano. Oh man. Oh dude! <laughs> uh, Daisy lost a life because I jumped into the bottom of the well and fell into the water. 
any other source of damage simply serves to switch which character you're playing as. Take a leaf! Take his leaf! Ah, oh, I need an item to like, cut the leaf. I'm trying to like raise the the rope. I don't think I can jump across. Even with the improved momentum running speed. But maybe I could just jump that. We're going! I splash. I missed the jump. <laughs> I missed the jump. Dragon. Can I get the bucket? The secret passage. We talk to the mouse. We touch the mouse. The rat stands in your way. Gosh, that rooks look that rat looks particularly mean and vicious. I wonder how I can get past him. Amiga droplet. Okay, this is a fake cloud. Some clouds are fake clouds, some clouds are real clouds. <laughs> My god. Oh. I panicked. I panicked. Daisy's dead. I think Daisy's dead. I think Daisy's dead. Bad at this game. We keep missing these jumps. There we go. Can we go find Daisy's corpse? Can we get a long stick and prod her corpse with it? So if I just walk, if I just tap. <laughs> we gotta walk into there. Hi, Daisy. Sorry you died. So I can't seem to get a leaf off Dylan here. Nor can I seem to go up any higher from here. Oh, you can just make that jump. Okay. <laughs> the jumps. The puzzle jumps. Hello. Career. Well, don't you think you should tell me who you are? Why? Well, I have a very big problem, and... And what exactly is your problem? I'm dizzy. My friends are trapped in this land. I'd like to ask for your help. I shall tell you something important if you can find my pipe. Pipe. I have your pipe, so now tell me this important thing. Keep your temper. Is that it? Yes. People won't help you unless you're polite. 
so you can't help me? My advice is all the help I can give. <laughs> Dizzy! <laughs> That's really funny. People won't help you unless you're polite. So you won't help me then? <laughs> oh, Dizzy. Dizzy, Dizzy, Dizzy. Tries the door, but it's locked. Oh well, maybe it'll be open later. <gasps> Cat! <gasps> Whoa! I didn't... Okay. The monolith. Okay, so let's go use the whip to swing into the castle. Maybe now we've learned to be polite and ask Dylan for a leaf, but nope. We just don't even communicate. I wonder if I could use the whip to swing across the moat. Firmly holding the handle, Dizzy cracks the whip toward the hook above. Yes, it works! It seems to be strong enough to hold my weight. Whoa! Hot wet garbage. Oh, the door is shut. Whip. This is the jankiest swing I have ever seen. Like, you press the jump button to stop swinging, and he just kind of falls straight down. There is no momentum, but he also kind of, like, teleports? <laughs> alright, alright. Probably need the castle, or the, the key up in the clouds. I don't think I can make this jump here. Bug. Because Daisy's dead, I no longer swap characters. Oh. Oh. Do I have to ride the caterpillar's weed smoke? Look at his little booties. Hop on. You do. I can't pick it up. I'm in! Goodness. It's always you welcome, welcome. More dizzy. There's always more dizzy. Uh, this is one of the more modern dizzy games. Released 2015 for the NES. This is a remake of the fourth a uh, Dizzy Adventure game for the Spectrum. This is really cool. It definitely has a lot of changes made to it. Ancient Lamp. I think the Ancient Lamp, we need to zap somebody with it, if I remember correctly. Maybe Dylan? Torch? It doesn't look like torches kill you. What is that? Flaming torch, hey. Mm 
We're high in the castle. So my first time playing this, although it's based on a game I have played. So we're still in just exploration mode. You can play as both Dizzy and his girlfriend Daisy in this one. Which is really cool. Uh, except <laughs> I got Daisy killed immediately. So she's just dead. Tons of items here. Like, what is that? Like a little crank or something? Well handled. Then we can get the bucket. We can fill the bucket with water. Okay. There's so many items! Book of Music. Okay, so activating the switch simply opens and then closes the gate. We can probably get crushed by the gate, so... <gasps> Hello, rabbit. <laughs> I'm late, I'm late for a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. The perspective here is hilarious. How they retain the same rabbit sprite in size for the dialogue scenes versus the normal gameplay scenes, but Dizzy just grows enormous <laughs> in the dialogue. Oh, it must be awfully important, like a party or something? Uh, let's go get the clock. You might want a clock. <laughs> You go so fast. I could really get used to the quick movement speed. This is actually really handy. Oh, Mr. Rabbit. Oh, Mr. Rabbit. Would this be your pocket watch? By Jove. So there's my watch. And look, I'm not late at all. Oh, dear. Look, I appear to have come away from the party with the teapot. You couldn't return it for me, could you? Of course I will. Teapot. Oh, it's Excalibur. Try and pull the sword out of the stone, but it won't move. Oh, if only I was stronger. Yeah, we need the magic lamp to zap Dozy awake. I think that's what it was. Wake up, Dozy! It's not safe here. I can't stay awake. Look at this guy. Hello, Mr. Hatcher. May I join your party? Oh yes, you must have a cup of tea. But where's my teapot? Somebody has stolen my teapot. I find your teapot? Or maybe I could join you? Yes, yes, a very fine idea. Teapot. Mr. Hatter, sir, I found your teapot. Oh, indeed, you are so kind. So why not join me for a cup of tea and a piece of cake? Thanks, but I should rescue all my friends before partying. Maybe I'll come back when i found all my friends. Then we'll have something to celebrate. Goat! You stroke the goat. What a nice big goat. Goat! Hello, troll. Unbirthday cake? Goat. <laughs> By the lore of Gar, only the yoke is true can defeat one who is false. Jump into him. 
Who's that crapping over my bridge? It's me, Dizzy, and I'd like to cross. Go away, or I'll gobble you up. He looks mean and hungry. I think I'd better leave. Okay. Doesn't kill you. Look at the go. Yo, bony skull man, welcome. This is such an awesome game. It's time to keep exploring. It's time to try the jump again. It's time to keep exploring and try the jump again. So... Dizzy picks up speed as he runs. If you hold left or hold right, he picks up speed. But slopes like this delete his speed or reduce it back to normal pre-run speed. Which is why I missed this jump twice in a row, because I'm expecting to keep running speed up the slope. But no. It eats his speed. And there's nothing over here. Star. You see, tries the door, but it's locked. Hello, sir. And who you? I am the Pied Piper of Hamelin. I think I've heard of you. Would you be able to help me find my friends? I am but a simple pipe player. I fear I would not be able to further your quest. Well, maybe I'll be back. Or maybe I won't. Maybe... screw you. STICK! I... don't have... space. Oh. Oh, we're at the hot, wet garbage room. Okay. Jump! Okay, so we can give the cat back to the witch. Uh, we can... I need to grab the key from the sky to unlock the door to the castle. Although that simply makes traversal back and forth a little easier. I don't think that's... Assuming that's what the key is for. It doesn't actually help progress very much. We need a way to light the witch's fire, and we need something to get a leaf. Ooh, Dozy. Tons of things to try. Let me go see if I can zap Dozy with the lamp. Technically, this isn't the Yoke Folk Village. Uh, we have been... The story to the game goes, Dizzy and Daisy fell into a hole. <laughs> and we're in the magic land. Lamp. Uh oh. I need I need the cloth or something to clean the lamp. Maybe I don't I don't remember. These bloody bugs, man. What was this book again? I've already forgotten. Music book. Oh, let's give this to the the music man. Hello, sir. I've just remembered that you are, or who you are. I think that you could help me. Yes, my friend, what is it? Well, didn't you save the town of Hamlet from the plague of rats? Yes, that's right. Oh, those were the days. Well, I have a problem with a large rat, so could you help me? Yes, easy. Just take these spare pipes of mine and play them in front of the rat. Thank you ever so much. No damage meter, nope. Uh, there are some hazards that simply stun you like that. 
And there's also some hazards that instantly kill you. <laughs> uh, I don't know if there's ever a way to tell which is which without touching them or just kind of guessing. I'm dropping the whip. There's gotta be a way to open that and go down. Ah, oh, I missed the key. That's fine, that's fine. We can use the wench here. The winch. You fix the handle to the well and wind up the bucket. This bucket should be your fault. Daisy was standing on the bucket at the bottom of a well. What happened to Daisy? What happened to... Where's Daisy? If I jump down there, I die. Do you think Daisy's floating in thin air? Do you think she's... Drowned? These are stun droplets. These are fake Amiga droplets. They don't kill you. I wasn't sure. I thought they killed me. Like, the stunning mechanic almost seems like it's completely useless. Although I guess it's a mechanism to swap your character more than anything else. As he stands in front of the rat, starts to play the pipes. Excellent! The rat looks mesmerized. Pipes disappeared. Is this a tramp bat? This is a trampoline, okay. Trampolines are okay. It's trampettes that make me nervous. There's gotta be more than 50 stars. I have no idea what the number is. I think... I... I think it tells you on the Yoke Folk website, actually, now that I think about it for a moment. I think I, I think it tells you. I want to say there might be 80 stars. Slappens can see something high on a ledge. Trampoline! Drink me potion. Will do. Immediately drink it. Immediately drink it. Dizzy. I don't drink. He doesn't drink. Dude, what is this? Run! Hot, wet garbage. Oh, is this the one where Daisy was enormous? I've forgotten so much about these games. Drink. Now, Dora needs to kiss the frog, or the frog needs to go to Prince Charming or something. Cat. I found this sad little lost cat. I thought it might be yours. Oh, Tiddles, you naughty cat. Oh, thank you, my dear. I flew everywhere looking for him. Well, as a reward, if you find my broomstick, please feel free to use it. It's quite easy to control. Dizzy strokes the cat, and it gently purrs.
another new music song. This is Theme of Cat. There's the broom. Let's go fill the bucket first. You splash about in the stream for a bit. Oh, the water's freezing. Bucket. If I pour this... In the lava, maybe? That bug's gonna. He's, uh, nothing I can do about that. Wait, wait, what am I doing? Get the. Carpet. It's all over. It's it's all over. It's all over. Okay, it's back. It's so back. We're so back. There are 4,000 million gajillion stars up here. Sharp dagger. <laughs> hey, Megami, welcome. I did, yeah, we played the original version of this for the Spectrum. But this is a totally different, or an enhanced remake. They've added a lot of new elements and puzzles and items and music and graphics, so it's awesome. This is definitely worth playing. This is really cool. Okay, get the get the get the star. Get the get the get the dude. Be careful. Get the get the just get back on the broom. Okay, you can like stop on a dime and turn around. This is weird. Oh, the monolith. This thing's a lot taller in this version. I don't have inventory space. Yeah, there's a there's a cloth or a patch or something. That might be the enhanced inventory capacity. Dismount over here. Is this the extra pocket? Dude, just just inch inch over. Dismount over here. Oh my god, these bugs. Can't pick that up. I'm already holding three things. Okay. Well, nothing can go wrong if I just leave this bucket of water up in the clouds. It's a clock. Okay, this is what we use in conjunction with the lamp to summon the genie to zap Dozy. Okay. Let's just leave this bucket of water up here in the clouds. Surely I'll find it again. I don't think it'll be a problem. Dude, I... This is kind of hard to control. Vroom! I can't... I can't go to the right. I can't go any further to the right. And I can't go any higher up from here. Is 
So it seems like we're constrained to this was like a five by five area in the clouds, maybe? Oh, well, it's lighter than five. We got monolith. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I didn't press left. It just it vacuumed me to the left. Vroom! This is really funny. <gasps> the devil. The devil. This is where the devil lives. That's not the devil. This game sucks. Garbage game. Hi, Theo. What are you doing in there? Zax cast an evil spell over me, which imprisoned me in this remote cave. Why don't you use your magic and undo Zack's spell to free yourself? Alas, I appear to have mislaid my wand. Never fear, Theodore. I will find your wand. Maybe the devil's hidden behind a fantasy wall. I can't give up hope yet. We might still get to <laughs> meet the devil. It looks like the rookery is no longer here. Oh, I missed a star. Whoa! It's not letting me go left anymore. Oh, this is so weird. But now I can. And now it pulls me to the right. Like, this th this thing is... Okay. Shark potion. Here, Dylan, hold still while I cut a leaf off. Oh, be careful, man. That thing looks sharp. A leaf from Dylan. So we still don't have a way to light the cauldron. Hey Reg, welcome. Yeah, this is Dizzy in Wonderland. Sorry, Wonderland Dizzy. Frog. This game is awesome. This is really cool. She places the leaf in the cauldron and stirs the potion. Puppy power. So before I get too carried away... Oh, game over. <laughs> I was going to say, before I get too carried away, I should go get the bucket from the clouds, but... Nope, game over instead. That's got to be pretty good progress. 73 stars. I want to say I read that there were 80 in this game. Still a lot of puzzles to be solved, but still. Let's go back in. Oops, we can jump like that. Let's get through the dialogue. Here's your pipe. Before we ride out there, let's grab this. Gotta be able to grab the garbage. There might be some like hidden hooks I can use to swing to greater heights. Like, I don't think I can get up here. No! Ooh! Get it. 
The back door key. You use the key to unlock the door. Excellent. Okay, so now we can swing to get out of here. So that doesn't seem to do anything. But it opens up a path, which is good. Okay, let's bring the music book to the thing. I wonder if we're able to even get the pipes without first checking on the rat. Oh, ooh, I almost, I almost switched. Hi, Piper Pamlin. I have a problem with a large rat, Dizzy says, and yet we have never encountered a large rat. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so Dizzy didn't die. That's just stunning from fall damage. This is, this is, this is wild. The potentials for routing this to speedrun this game are wild. Okay, let's put the whip here. It's stunned. Okay. I don't have any way to get past the troll yet. Okay, we got that, Sar. Stunned. It's a character swap. Play the pipes. Stunned character swap. Dizzy, what are you doing up there? You're gonna get stunned instantly. Okay. Yo, Willy the Worm, welcome. Yeah, this is Wonderland Dizzy. This is the modern era of Dizzy gaming. By that, I mean this is a remake of a game made in the... In the year 1991. <laughs> this is a remake of a 1991 game. But there's a bunch of changes to it. Oh, nice, we're in. It's really fun. I'm liking this a lot. I don't know what the stick is for. So it seems like I should intentionally leave Dizzy on one side of the world and Daisy on the other. And take advantage of the swaps. And to like shuttle items back and forth rather than spend time running back and forth for ages. Where's the bloody clock? It's all the way up there, that's right. Set the stick down. You're gonna have to get all the stars from the clouds soon. And yeah, it does track your stars individually. The torch! Okay, we need to swap. So can I do fall damage like that? To swap. Oh, Daisy's here! With the trampoline! And, oh! I thought she was closer to the witch. 
go this way. Uh, we gotta drop an item. To get to the chalice, the holy water. Now I can just own this Pac-Man ghost. Wait, I wonder, if I don't have the holy water... No, no, I... okay. I set it down... I set it down here, when the ghost was here. And it killed the ghost. Okay. I'll take it. Hello, witch. Hat. Mm -hmm. Cat. Daisy has nothing. The first. It... Okay, that's good. That's an advantageous swap. That was a tactical swap right there. 100% planned. <laughs> Not an accident. So we can go deliver the watch to the guy. I can. Oh, I thought it was an un unintentional swap. I forgot. Okay. Run, Daisy! Daisy! Good job, Daisy. Okay, we got 17 million. No swap? Now swap? What? Why no swap? Swap or why? Why? why what? Oh, weird. Mystery. There's intrigue. <laughs> this should be directly above the rabbit, so let's just drop straight down. Swapped! Welcome, thank you for the raid. Welcome in raiders, welcome everybody. How's it going? Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm playing Dizzy. This is Wonderland Dizzy. This is a Nintendo game released in 2015. It's really fun. Thank you for the raid, welcome everybody. Welcome, hope your stream went well. Dude. Okay, dismount. Ah, oh, my inventory's full! What do I have in my inventory? Okay, the watch and the lamp go on the left side of the world. The well handle goes on this side of the world. Let's just go rummage around and collect some stars for a little bit. Yeah, thank you for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. Oh, Ultima 3 Gaming. I like Ultima 3. But it's complicated. It's kind of a messed up video game. <laughs> it's kind of a messed up video game. I also like it. I played the NES version of Ultima 3 not too long ago. It was a fun time. Swapped. So now the question is, will the broomstick remain when I swap back? the rabbit watch puppy power swap no broomstick oh this is not good I don't know where I am in the clouds either 
Daisy. <laughs> Set this down. Use your teapot. Who struck the goat? Birthday cake? No. So we need to get the, the cloth from the clouds. For that we need to get I need to get the torch and give it to Daisy so we can light the cauldron and get the knife so many things to do in this game we need the trampoline as well to go up to the, the drink me potion because I abandoned it I abandoned that path stick is still mysterious stick might be for goat maybe Garbage, I think, was a red herring in the first version. I don't think garbage did anything in the original. Much to my dismay. Where did I put the dang torch, dude? I put it all the way up here. No, maybe I swapped it for the handle. Goodness. I've lost my items. We gotta go on a quest. A quest for items. <laughs> Jiggy! Jiggy! Thank you for the raid. Welcome. Welcome, Jiggy and Raiders. Oh, it's raid o'clock. Uh, welcome to the stream. Thank you. I'm doing my dizzy gaming. <laughs> Mandatory dizzy gaming. Oh, thank you for the resub as well. 14 months. Thank you. Fully powered Big Egg Gaming today. Uh, today I'm playing Wonderland Dizzy, which is a Nintendo a Nintendo game released in 2015. A remake of the fourth Spectrum Dizzy adventure game, but with many wonderful new changes and surprises. Uh, thank you. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome. I hope the Jiggy stream went well. I'm sad I missed it. I don't know where I put an item. <laughs> I'm just running in circles. Maybe I put it down to get the cup. I think that's what it was. I set it down to pick up the cup of holy water so I can get past the witch. Or the get to the witch. That's where I put it. Okay. Dizzy. Oh, the swap. Um, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. Careful. So in this character... In this game, you have two characters you play as. You're given the choice to switch between Dizzy and Daisy. For the first time ever in a Dizzy adventure, we can play as Daisy. Which is awesome. Now, whenever you take damage or get stunned, I guess it's not really damage. Whenever you get stunned by hitting an enemy, you switch characters. And your inventory teleports back and forth between the two. It's really cool. It really helps to alleviate a lot of the backtracking, which is a <laughs> which is just the nature of dizzy games. But they've helped reduce it here. Inventory! Okay, I don't know what this is for. So let's just set that down and hopefully not forget about where I put it. I kind of want to swap to Daisy and rescue her from her cloud-based prison. I wish there was just a swap button. But if I jump into this, I'll swap. I've been doing... I've. There's so many Dizzy games, I have to just pick and choose which ones to play, otherwise I'll be playing them my entire life. <laughs> I went with... I started by playing the Spectrum games.
And the adventure games released on the Spectrum, so Dizzy's 1 through 7? On the Spectrum. And then... Now I'm going through the NES games. There's so many Dizzy games on the NES. And then there'll be one final Spectrum game, which is released just a couple years ago, that I'm going to play. I've been trying to go chronologically, but also taking some liberties here or there. Uh, <laughs> it's confusing. FTI, thank you for the raid. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome, raiders. Holy smokes. Raid Central. Thank you, everybody, for the raids. Okay, use the torch. Oh, thank you, my dear. Now I can light my fire. Uh, get the apple. Jump. Okay, so now I have two inventory slots open. Let's go fill the bucket with water. Oh, the water's freezing. Fill the bucket with water. Dude! It's coming right for me. Okay, now I have a wet bucket. Um, I need to get the knife in the apple. Cake is mysterious. Where'd the apple go? I might have given the apple away. I can't remember, dude, these items. Ninja rope. Okay, now we can come down here and get the tramp. Oh, big dinner. That sounds delicious. Enjoy the meal, MTI. Thank you for the raid. We're going sailing. There we go, there we go. Sailing through the clouds. Okay, I need this knife. I don't think I need the leather whip for literally anything. Unless there's a second hook. A second hook on the grassy knoll. It's mysterious. Okay, I guess Dizzy is now the one to collect stars. Which is fine. Got it. Ba, 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 ba. Can't go left. Can't go left. <laughs> the vacuuming on the magic broomstick. Now I can go left. Okay, star. Star. Okay, this is the maximum height. Okay. There's the patch. I keep thinking that's a patch. No, it's a duster cloth. Okay, to all that, and welcome, welcome. It's going very well. It's a dizzy Saturday. I'm having tons of fun with these games. This is just delightful. Okay, I'm making sure to thoroughly check all of the cloud screens here <laughs> for stars. That, there's one there I missed, yep. Oh god! Yeah! Okay. Bug? I gotta go over. No! I gotta go over the volcano! Are there stars on this screen? There are. Okay, I think I've collected all the stars up in the clouds. Oh, nope, not that one. Sometimes you just can't control it. <laughs> like, this thing, it's almost impossible to explain how it feels to control. It kind of has a mind of its own, and you're just kind of nudging it in directions, but it's also just kind of going all over the place. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay. Get off! There we go. What did he want? He needs his wand. That's right. Um, what's the inventory looking like? Whip 
dagger bucket. Okay, let's do a tactical Amiga droplet warp. Mm, 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 mm. Now my inventory is full, so I can't grab the freaking trampoline! Okay, go back up. Ah, oh, the garbage is in the way. Waters for. Uh, whip. Set the whip down here. I'm gonna set the bucket. Oh, I'm gonna put the bucket in the castle. I want the castle to be like home base. down so you can use the dagger to cut the leaf to rescue Dylan and he might have a reward for us because I've already turned in the apple I've lit the cauldron I think that's it it's the trampoline <laughs> you have air control you have limited air control while on the little trampoline Dizzy? Diz, di, 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 dizzy, diz, 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 Jump from here straight up. Fancy wall? No. I forgot the volcano was right there. Alright, it's my first death. So each character, Dizzy and Daisy, have three lives. So we effectively have six lives for this adventure. Which is, oh my god. <laughs> which is a lot. For a Dizzy game, that's a lot of lives. So we're not really in danger of dying anytime soon and getting a game over. Although I already got a game over once, but... Having this many lives is so nice and so kind of them. Okay, let's grab this. Okay, we can cut the leaf. Understand what rules govern the the teleportation of the broomstick. Sometimes it stays in place. Sometimes it goes back to its spawn point. She places the leaf in the cauldron and stirs the potion. Good. Now I have all the ingredients. She stirs the brew and starts to mumble a mystic rhyme. Hey, my dear, your potion's ready to use. Going for your friend. Oh, thank you. I'm working on it, Dylan. The witch's brew. Hi, Dylan. This potion should undo the spell. Oh, wow. Thanks, man. Look at him. He's so sparkly. Oh. He's, he's gone. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. In the original, the, the, the fire in the cauldron kills you. The original version was... They had some mean, tricky things. 
I remember playing the pan flute for the rat. That tripped me up for the longest time. I couldn't figure that out. Here it's very direct. They give you actually direction <laughs> to use the flute for the rat. That one got me stuck for a long time. I think I might have missed some stars too back in the day. I, back in the day as if it was forever ago. Ooh, star. I had to spend ages looking for. <gasps> oh, look! He's here! Okay, that was a tactical stun so I could swap characters to get over here because I still need to get this bloody bottle. There we go. Okay, we need the cloth from the clouds. I think that's the next item that D Dizzy has to pick up. the Pied Piper. <laughs> I didn't I didn't connect the dots. Drink me. Dagger. I was thinking I wasn't thinking to stab the dagger stab the goat with a dagger. I was thinking to maybe he was tethered with an invisible rope that I could cut. No, he's just chilling. Hmm. I think the next step is this. So let's set that down. Oh, I was thinking of the original. Swap to Dizzy. Now let's go get the, the cloth from the clouds. So Dizzy's got 53 stars. We gotta be getting close to the, I think it was 80 total. Any more advice? No. You want a cake? No. Oh, 100? That's a lot of stars. Okay. Should be somewhere around here. Should be somewhere around here. I can't fly! Ah! Must be up higher. There it is, okay. <laughs> this thing is so cool. Uh, jump off, get that. I hope I didn't. Could be bad. You can't pick that up. <sighs> Hot, wet garbage. Daisy decides to polish the lamp with the duster. Look at this rough genie. Or hold, I'm the game genie. Oh my god. It's the game genie. <laughs> Your wish is my command. How can you help me? More power, more speed, more weapons, extra lives. Oh, I'm searching for my friends. But with all these obstacles in my way, I'm not sure I'll make it much further. Worry not, my little friend, for releasing me from the lamp, I shall grant you another life. Game Genie quickly disappears. What happened to Three Wishes? I was already with my... I was all... I was already... That's not... I was already with my wish for infinite... 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 The t Wishes. It's two typos in the same sentence. If you want infinite wishes, then maybe you should buy your own game genie. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Dozy, wake up! Oh. Zap him. Zap him. I still have the lamp and the duster, though. They didn't disappear. Sacrifice him on the altar. Stab Dozy with a knife right through the heart. <clears throat> this isn't a sacrificial altar. <laughs> Inventory! set these down here. Okay, the sword and the stone, not strong enough for that. I almost fell under the gate. So I guess I need to figure out how the bucket with water... <gasps> Dozy, splash him! It's freezing cold water. Let's go splash Dozy with this. That'll wake him up. <laughs> Throw the ice cold water over Dozy. Wakey, wakey, Dozy. <laughs> what happened? Has that worked? Do you feel awake? More shocked, but I think it's done the trick. Dozy, are you are you okay, Dozy? What's happening? Why? Why would, did splashing him with water cause him to sparkle and disappear? Okay. You saved him. Oh yeah, he's probably at the monolith now. We'll head back there eventually. Can I get into this house yet? This is this is really bad here. I have no idea where I am. Go right. <laughs> oh no, dizzy. Um, uh, maybe the maybe the big stick is the wand. Maybe that's his wand. Maybe I can carve it into a wand using the knife here. Hot wet garbage. Trying to intentionally get stunned to swap characters. There's a good room for it. Oh, Dizzy! I have no idea where I am, Dizzy! Okay, easy. Uh, we need the broomstick. The swapping mechanic's really cool, but it can also be pretty annoying. Why didn't I get stunned that time? I guess I want to refill the bucket, maybe? Double bucket? Are we double dipping on the bucket usage? Hmm. Interesting. What? Oh my god. No swap. Now swap. I'm just trying to get the stick to Theo. 
I want to show Theo my stick. All right, all right, gotta go get the, gotta go get the broomstick now. I mean, these could be deaths. Like, the game's a lot more generous than <laughs> Classic Dizzy, because Classic Dizzy, all of these stuns would instead just kill you or drain your health. Dude, the bird, though, is just not good. I have 100% forgotten. Like, <laughs> everything in my... All my Dizzy memories are just a giant slurry. I played too many of these games in rapid succession. Dude, those spiders were the worst. Hey, I got a stick for you. What do you think about my stick? He doesn't care about the stick. Water? We need like sticky gloves to pull the sword from the stone, I think. I don't know what the unbirthday cake or the drink we are going to be used for. Stick. I'm sorry, my friend, but Daisy hits the goat with the stick. I forgot about this. Was this in the original? You smack, you bash it with a stick? That's right, it is. Yeah, you bash it with a stick. Oh. Oh, new music. This is goat bashing music. That's Denzel! Look how cool he is! Mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna set the bucket down. I'm gonna set the dagger down. They've been used. It doesn't mean they're not unusable still. But I'm just gonna great take these with me instead. Foamed welcome. The music in this game is wonderful. <laughs> Look at Denzel. <laughs> oh, this is just so uncool, dude. Now calm down, Denzel. It's obvious that you've been shrunk, but in my adventures, I have found solutions to such minor predicaments. Minor predicament? I'm knee-high to a grasshopper. I think I'm getting smaller. Stay cool, Denzel. I'll get some help. Here, Denzel, drink this potion. This is some kind of joke. I don't think it's very funny. This is what shrank me in the first place. Ooh, sorry. Got him. You want some cake? You want some of Daisy's cake? Get out of there, Denzel! I'm trying to give you my cake. Den Den cake? Here, Denzel. It's just an idea. But I think this cake should return you to your natural size. Yo, excellent, man. Oh, I feel all tingly. Yes, it's working. Wow, this is totally radical, dude. Bye. I wonder if we can jump through the mirror and go into chessboard land. <gasps> the love door. The queen's chamber. 
Daisy's surprised to find that the door has been left unlocked. And who is this? I'm Daisy. I'm trying to find my friends. Silence. Always say yes, your majesty. I was going to ask if you had any of my friends in your castle, your majesty. I do have a Yolkbook awaiting trial for trespassing. Well, I shall have to rescue them then, your majesty. Guards! Guards! Off for their heads! And who's this? See ya. <gasps> Cut diamond. A, gig a gigantic jewel that's been lost. <sighs> oh, I got stunned. Just teleport. Teleport. Teleport out. Oh, young Billion, welcome. Fancy Malia, welcome. Could have been a Master System game. Instead, it's a NES game. Look at the faces. Going down. <gasps> oh, dear. <gasps> the wand! There it is. I wonder if I am capable of overcoming this challenge here. No one may enter the dungeons. Oh, come on. No one will know. Why should I let you pass? What's in it for me? What do you want? Money. Something valuable. If I find something, you'll let me look around the dungeons? Yes. Probably. I'll be right back. Diamond. I've got a diamond for you, so can I pass now? Go on then, but don't tell a soul. I don't want you getting me into trouble now, do I? I think these might be the final stars. The crypt. We're very close to the end of the stars. Dora's big. Dora's big this time. Dora, is that you? You've grown. Help me, Daisy. I seem to have grown. And I'm too large to get out. Come now. Crying won't help. I'll think of a way to return you to your normal size. So I wonder if we could have fed the cake to Dora to super grow her. I wonder if that's a thing. Apparently that's a thing in the original. You can super grow Daisy. Because normally it's Daisy down here who's just like stomping around in Omega size. And you can grow her even larger. <laughs> yeah, I never did that in my playthrough. Potion. Here, Dora, drink this potion. It should shrink you. Thank you, Daisy. We haven't found Grand Dizzy anywhere yet. Uh, we can teleport over to Theo now. So I'll do that right now. Yeah, I think we gotta get behind the Queen. I'm back. I found your wand. Bravo! Now I can free myself. Dude, you moved like three inches. You're free now, Theo. Thank you, Dizzy. With my magic, I shall grant you the strength of a dozen yoke folk. Here, take this certificate. It holds the magic strength. Wow, I feel stronger already.
<laughs> the merit of strength. Okay, so there's no sticky glove nonsense. We get a certificate saying that we are mega buff. Just like in real life. Oh, Rachel Retro, welcome. I'm so excited to play all these unreleased Dizzy games. And I died there! I died there again. See, the problem... Okay, the problem is... <laughs> hopping on the broomstick, as soon as you get onto it, it automatically starts vacuum, vacuuming you to the left. Oh, stun. That should have canceled the swap. It did not cancel the swap. It did cancel the swap, yep. Yeah. I am learning the stun swap canceling technique. With your newfound strength, you pull the sword from the stone. Wow! Excalibur! Alright, let's go stab the queen. Stab her with Excalibur. Just a touch of violence. How oh, it didn't work! Maybe I'll be a little bit closer. Now, let me in. I hold the sword Excalibur, and one way or another I shall pass. Very well, but I shall only let you in. As it is said, whoever holds the sword Excalibur shall rule the kingdom. I only want to rescue my friend. So, okay, we didn't kill her, we just threatened her with violence. Oh! Look at these guys. Three FPS slowdown. Well done! You've now collected all the magical stars. No, maybe the manual which doesn't have a scan that exists online. Maybe the manual explains why we're collecting stars, but the game certainly doesn't. Da -da 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 -da. Dizzy, if Daisy pulls the lever and the cage opens. Thank you, young Daisy. You're indeed a brave adventurer. That's okay. See you back at the monolith. That's okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, LCC, welcome. Mr. Radon, welcome. She is pretty hairy, you know? I never, I never stopped to consider. Daisy is a hairy egg. When you put it that way, it really is quite wonderful. All right, let's go back. Maybe we can get some tea. Are we gonna stab Zax? I don't think we're gonna stab Zax. The bug. You got jump scared by the bug. I think in the original the queen was let's pick up the garbage just for good measure the queen was in the mirror dimension and that castle on the left side of the world was Zack's evil castle we had to jump into the mirror dimension to find the queen but Zax was just up in one of the towers it's done Okay, we death warped over the over the volcano. Our heroes must converge on the center. We 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 
No! Stunned. The gang's all here. I don't seem to be able to intentionally stun Daisy here. I gotta, I gotta get dizzy. I gotta get dizzy. I refuse to leave. So if I go like this... Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> There he is! Hey Daisy! <laughs> I got severe slowdown! Hey Daisy, going well, isn't it? Don't get too complacent, we're not home yet. We not home yet. Here, can you hold this, hold this rubbish for me, please? Thank you, Daisy. Dizzy looks through the portal. Um... Look safe. Come on, everybody. Let's go home. They all follow Dizzy through the portal. Game over. Game over. Game over. Nothing more needs to be said. The game is over. We walk through the portal, and the game is over. Daisy doing the lion's share of the work. Collected more stars. Even though Dizzy flew the flew the broomstick through most of the clouds, Daisy got more stars and more points. I didn't beat my best score. This game is really good. That was that was a lot of fun. That was cool. I enjoyed this. What a great game. If I press a button. Congratulations! All the Yoke Folk are happily reunited and tra and traveling. Uh, well done. You've rest successfully rescued all the Yoke Folk and beaten Wonderland and Dizzy the End. I missed the dialogue. Check out all the check out these excellent websites. OliverTwins.com, Yokefolk.com, hashtag I beat Dizzy. Playtime 5229IDLGFJ. Don't steal my credit, people who use Twitter. I don't use Twitter. Don't you tweet that. That's my code. I'm watching you. <laughs> 52 minutes. Dang. This game is awesome. This was really fun. I start to play it's a lot more kind to the player compared to the original there's a lot of changes compared to the original to make it still interesting and exciting the music is just fantastic it's cool playing as Daisy and like the swapping mechanics is really interesting And I guess we have to reset the console. Yeah, we've got to reset the console to go back to the options menu. So you can choose to either play one or the other. There's fun mode. So if we go daisy fun mode. You stay here. I'm off to rescue the others. And then it's much more of a classic experience, except the fun mode. I don't even know like what, what the differences are. You can die if you fall into water. Oh, the drop, they don't even do anything. They just don't even do anything. Okay. Oh, 
I'll, I'll go get the broom. Yeah, let's speed run to the broom. So you don't take fall damage or fall stun. Only things that would instantly kill you, such as water and lava, still kill you here, it looks like. Don't have the eye, welcome back. I just finished the game. Uh, levels of inscrutability are quite low in this one. Oh, I didn't even lose a life. That's true. That's true. I didn't even realize. This is a fully scrutable game. As demonstrated here by floating on the caterpillar's smoke rings. Fully scrutable game. Oh, the cat's up the tree. I thought the cat was in the castle. Thank you. I'm going the wrong way. Okay, you can get still get stunned. Never mind. I thought you couldn't. Wait, let me see what happens. Drop the holy water here. Okay. The ghosts only blink like Pac-Man style if you're carrying the holy water. I was curious about that. We never did anything with the frog. The ghost forces you back. Oh dear. Teleportation action. Oh, cat music. <laughs> wow. Whoa, this this is like a normal video game now. You just you just move. In the in classic mode, this broomstick is literally just like flying all over the place while you're trying to search through the clouds. And it's really hard to control. Okay, that's pretty slick. Cool. Oh, and the, the bugs don't knock you off of it. Yeah. This game owns. 10 out of 10. Excellent. Wonderful. Shut her down. <laughs> That was so much fun. That was so much fun. Man, Dizzy rules. Dizzy rules. Dizzy is so good. So we still have more Dizzy games to play, but I think we'll leave it here for today. We'll save the rest. Well, not the rest. We'll save the next for next Dizzy Saturday. So the next Dizzy game I want to play is Dream World Pogi. Which is technically a pogey game and not a dizzy game, but I'm going to play it anyway because it's a side-scrolling action platformer. It's one of my favorite genres. So we'll play Dream World Pogey next, and then Mystery World Dizzy probably on the same day after Dream World Pogey. And that will leave Wonderful Dizzy for its own separate stream later. And that's kind of the rough roadmap for now. But thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, that's it. That's Dizzy Gaming. We did it. So much fun. That game was so good. Let's get it on screen. There it is. That was so good. I had a lot of fun with this. <laughs> I don't... The artwork is quite... Well... Not my favorite. Not my bag of tea. But... 
the game was uh, was just quite wonderful. Let me get the Aladdin Deck Enhancer on screen too. <laughs> we gotta get the Aladdin Deck Enhancer here too. There we go. Well, maybe not the whole thing. Maybe just that. Maybe, maybe, maybe just that. Good enough. <laughs> Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Thank you for hanging out. I had a lot of fun today. Dizzy's good. When Dizzy's good, Dizzy's really good. When Dizzy's bad, Dizzy's really bad. <laughs> this is a complicated series. But on the whole, I think these are great games. Definitely worth the time to play. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for the raids, the follows, the subs, the, the cheers, the big emotes. Uh, thank you, MTI, for the raid. Thank you, Jiggy, for the raid. Thank you, Herc Xena, for the raid as well. Uh, thank you all for watching. Like I said, Dizzy Gaming, we'll pick it up again next week. I like to space these out. I don't want to overdose on Dizzy, so more Dizzy will probably be on Saturday. And then next week, be a lot of Drod. Got a lot of Drod to play still. We got a lot more Drod puzzles to solve. I cannot wait to play more Drod. We'll play some Drod next week. Oh, we're going to play some more Drod next week. But anyway, that's all for today. <laughs> uh, we're going to raid Coward 2 because he's playing Kingsfield. One of the best games ever made. I want to play Kingsfield again. I still need to play Kingsfield 4, The Ancient City. Maybe after Drod, we can play some Kingsfield. I gotta play Kingsfield. Kingsfield rules. Take care. Thank you for watching. Have a great night. I'll be back in a couple days with more video games. Adios. See you next time. Farewell. Bye bye.